Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Now, before we dive into today's guide, I need to emphasize that monitoring someone's digital activity without their consent is illegal and unethical. It's completely essential to use software like Bark responsibly and within the bounds of the law, such as for parental control or monitoring company devices with consent. This video is for educational purposes only. Nevertheless, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up parental controls in Windows 10 and 11. Now, as a father of four beautiful kids, ensuring their online safety is top priority for me and my wife. That's why I personally use Bark because it helps me balance between protecting my kids and giving them the freedom to explore the digital world responsibly. Now, if at any point you decide to try Bark like we did, you can use the affiliate link in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything and you might even get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to their website. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I chose to use Bark because it offers comprehensive monitoring without feeling overly intrusive. And since I need my kids to feel trusted and respected, I set up Bark so that it only sends me alerts when there's something I really need to know about, like potential safety risks or inappropriate content. This way I can talk to my kids about it and address issues directly, which really helps us maintain an open line of communication. And if you want to learn more about how Bark works and why I trust it, check out my in-depth review of Bark, which I'll leave down in the description below. Okay, so in order to set up parental controls on Windows, first you have to set up the native parental controls in Windows. Go to the start menu, open settings, and then navigate to accounts and select family and other users. This area allows you to add a kid's account or set up necessary restrictions for an existing one. But first, you'll need to make sure that each kid has their Microsoft account, which you can set up during this process if they don't already have one. Okay, so once the accounts are in place, Windows gives you the option to configure various settings like screen time limits, app and game restrictions, and web filtering. This setup helps create a balanced digital environment where you can keep tabs on your children's activities without being overly intrusive. Now, to add Bark controls in Windows, you'll need to visit the Bark website by clicking the link in the description below. Then download the application that's compatible with Windows operating systems, run the installer, and follow the prompts to get Bark installed on your kid's computer. Okay, so once Bark is installed, set up your account if you haven't already. This includes choosing a subscription plan that fits your needs. Then add your kid's device to your Bark dashboard. This might involve enabling certain permissions on the device to allow Bark to monitor effectively, but you'll be guided through this setup directly on screen. Now that everything's in place, Bark will begin monitoring the activities based on your settings, and you can adjust them at any time from the Bark dashboard, where you can also view detailed reports and alerts about your child's digital activities. And there you have it, folks. You now know how to set up parental controls in Windows 10 and 11 and enhance them with Bark. Remember to always use these tools responsibly and, of course, legally, keeping open communication with your children about the importance of online safety. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And if you want to try Bark, remember, you can use the affiliate link in the description down below. It doesn't cost you anything extra and you get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to their website. Anyway, I enjoy hearing your thoughts, so please leave any questions or comments down below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Finally, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.